a detailed breakdown of how we got to that $650,000 cost of the manufacturer. This is what we just talked about, different types of cost. The first section, what is this about? Direct materials. Okay, so we want to know what is the number of the amount, what is the value of the direct materials we used at year end. To calculate that $355,000 at the end, we need to trace back to, first of all, last year's statement. Do we have direct materials left over from last year? Do we? Yeah. We have $70,000 direct materials left from last year, and we can still use in this year. Do we make new purchases? Yes. yes. How much is that? $350,000. $350,000. And already including freight, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So the total, if we add those two numbers up, just a summary, we have $420,000 worth of materials for us to start production, start production line. So at the end, after a whole year of production, what do we have left? We have $65,000 of direct materials inventory that is left over from this year after producing many different lines of products. Okay, so we have $65,000 left. So we can get the actual number of material that we use in this year. Based on adding these two up, minus this, we can get $350,000. First part, manufacturing cost calculation. First step, what is the direct materials use? What is it worth? 355,000. So now remember we still have two more categories. We have direct labor, we also have all the other indirect costs. Direct labor it tells us here we paid employees $169,000. We move this number over here to the second category. Since we want to get to cost of goods manufactured, we need to add up these three categories. Okay, so this 355 that we just did, we add direct labor. This is the first category of costs. Direct labor is the second category. Now what about the third category? Indirect costs, and this includes a lot of different categories, but basically we have, first of all, indirect materials. Remember on the cake, the decoration, the labels, minor costs compared to the major ones. Indirect labor, remember janitors' wages, plant managers' wages can directly be traced to one product, $28,000. We also have depreciation expense on machines to help us produce the products, $10,000. We have utility, insurance, property taxes, $18,000. Okay, all together, these are indirect cost category, which is how much? Total oh, will be $73,000. Okay. This is the third category, the cost that incurred in this manufacturing company in this year. So these are the newly incurred costs. What about the leftover from the beginning? Meaning that we may have already manufactured all the goods last year, but it's also possible when it reaches December 31st, we have some of the products that are just halfway done. Those are the products that we call the first line, beginning work in process inventory. Okay, so we have $80,000 worth of inventory that are not yet finished goods. We still need to consider them in because we may have this year completed those products and we have already sold to customer. So beginning work in process, we have last year's halfway done products that are worth $80,000. We purchased new materials and we actually used $355,000. We hire people, paid them salary, $169,000, and all the remaining indirect costs that relates to utility, rent, janitors, wages, all together $73,000. These numbers, these four numbers together forms total manufacturing costs incurred during the year, $97,000. Before comparing it against what is the leftover and halfway done product. All together these $97,000. This is not yet the cost of goods actually finished. It's $500,000. Oh, sorry. $500,000. Okay. So we have 
$197,000 and we compare it against ending work and process inventory. Meaning that this year, just like last year, last year we had halfway done inventory, this year we may also have some of the inventory that are not yet fully done, not ready for customer yet. So we need to subtract that in order to get the finished goods cost. So cost of goods manufactured basically means the finished goods cost incurred at this period. These are the costs of the inventory that are now ready for customer, $650,000. So we subtract ending work in process and we need $27,000 and at the end we should be able to get cost of goods manufactured, $650,000. These are the goods that are finished, ready for customer. Okay, let's step back a little. So we first talked about different types of cost. There's direct cost, direct material, direct labor, indirect cost, indirect material, indirect labor, and all the other rental utilities. Then when we calculate, before we get to cost of goods sold, we need to know what is the total amount of direct materials used. What is it worth? So we trace back to last year's statement. We have a beginning direct materials carry over from last year that were $70,000. We made new purchases of materials, right? $350,000 with great charges. Add them together, those are the total direct materials available for us to use. But then we still have left over this year end didn't actually use the whole set of it. So altogether, we actually use $355,000 worth of inventory, worth of materials. Carry this over to calculate what is the finished goods cost, because this is only one part of it. This is the first category, cost. We still have direct labor to consider, $169,000 of wages paid to employees. Indirect cost, which breaks down to indirect material, indirect labor, utility, rental, all together, this gives us $73,000. So these are the three main types of costs. And we look back at the same thing. Last year, we have some of the halfway done inventory we need to consider. Halfway done worth $80,000. Add them together. You might have already manufactured all of them. But in reality, if we match it with a statement, we see ending work in process. We still have halfway done other products that are worth $27,000. All together, the finished goods that we actually manufactured this year were at $650,000. Okay, so what's the next step? Is this cost of goods sold yet? This is the cost of goods that we produced, right? How do we know whether it's cost of goods sold? This is finished, meaning. Yeah, this is finished, but how do we know if this is the number that we actually sold out to this one? And the inventory? Um, yeah, if it's like your ending and the first thing you end up with after selling the oh, inventory yeah, manufacturer. What's the leftover ones, right? And again, don't forget, we also have beginning inventory.